Oh, that music. music. Oh. I can only be a part of this family that's sitting here. All this week, the Young and the Restless is celebrating its 45th anniversary. And at the center of the action for nearly 40 of those wonderful years has been the much beloved Abbott family. Yes. Take a look. Dad? Welcome to Colorado. Ashley. <laughs> oh, oh my. Mm. Good to see you. Now, let me look at you. Let me see, honey. Mm. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Thank you. Um, I was looking for, for Brad. I'm very anxious to talk to him. Does this have something to do with your book? No, actually, it's a little more personal than that. Dad, I wouldn't have come back if I didn't have my head together. And a few ideas about the future. I'm not sure what that means. It means you don't have to worry about me. I just thought that those days were going to last forever. That yeah. they were never going to end. We all did. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Honestly, this oh, gave me God. chills watching that. It, 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 those <laughs> tear jerkers, you wow. guys are getting emotional as well. Yeah, it's yeah they're wonderful memories for us. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, sure. you know, our very own Kim Douglas has a very um, tight knit connection. Yeah. To all of you, I would say. <laughs> Isn't that true, Kim? Yeah. I do. I do. I, um... You know, I've watched the show since I was a very little girl in Detroit, and so... Um, Your connection's a little tighter than that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the point, oh, Kim, okay? Sorry, okay. It's a two-hour show, honey. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. Um, it all started when I was a small yeah. girl. Detroit. <laughs> you guys, um, well, Jerry and I have been married for 34 years. What? April when did that happen? I know, April 6th. And um, what happened is I was an anchor in upstate Michigan, the Upper Peninsula, and um, I would do I know. some mittens. Yeah. And um, every day I would anchor the news at 12 noon, and The Young and the Restless was on from 11 to 12. So I'd sit at, behind my anchor desk and watch the last Instead of minutes. preparing for your... Obviously. Oh. Have you met me? Do you know? <laughs> and um, I fell in love with the character of John Abbott. And there he is. That's oh. who I fell in love with. Ended I'm up with drunk. him, yeah. but it's so good. No, and um, no, and then we um, Kim, ended up photo. meeting at um, Las Vegas at the Jerry Lewis Muscular Dystrophy Telethon. He asked me out, and the rest is like a soap opera. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of drama. Huh? Oh, oh, if you only knew. <laughs> right, Boo Boo? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we enough about you two. Yeah. Let's get into yeah. the other Let's family. Get the yeah. Let's get into the other drama. Peter, what is Jerry? I mean. His character, the man himself, meant to you guys in the Abbott family. Well, Jerry, Jerry played John Abbott, who was the mother, father, uber parent of the clan, and uh, and his his exit from our show is is unique in that we are still talking about him <laughs> seemingly wow. every day. No. Wow. Okay. We talk about him. Uh, uh, what uh, would John she, Abbott what do? What would John Abbott do? Or <laughs> dad would be so say. disappointed in you, Jack. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the true sign yeah. of a that's really a true, a true, huge patriarch. True sign, patriarch. Of, true sign of an iconic yeah. character. Patriarch. Right. You're yep. talking about him Peter. years after yeah. he left us. You know, wow. And I don't oh. know if that would have happened if it wasn't inhabited by Mr. Jerry Douglas. That's the fact. Yeah, that's true. If that would have happened if he hadn't married Kim. <laughs> <laughs> that too. That too. But long, Jerry, long before you met our wonderful Kim here that we all love and adore so much, your life was kind of similar to John Abbott's. Very. You were a single dad raising your kids. Yeah, I had custody of my son at 10, and I think I had four years, and then I got young and restless, and I said, what on earth is happening here? Yeah. Life imitating art. And I just fell into it. It was easy. It was it was always a comfort zone because as a young actor, I did heavy after heavy. I could never get a job as a father, never. And I probably did at least 100 guest leads in my life, if you look it up. And here comes John Abbott, and I loved playing him. Yeah. It was so comfortable for me. Right. Well, he good. had two daughters came mm -hmm. along uh, and stepped into the role in 1982. Um, uh, Eileen and Beth, oh, and you guys oh look God. at that. Oh. I, oh. She still has her hat. That would have been fabulous. I heard, though, that 
Jerry <laughs> actually had to step in between you two at some point and play the <laughs> oh, 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 real oh, father figure. We're all together every day. Uh, and you we develop know. a yeah. sisterly relationship. And that's the thing. People that were raised together, you know, yeah. you have your squabbles. And yeah. uh, we, uh, it used to be a big tradition on the show as part of the storyline that we would have Abbott breakfasts. So every morning he would sit at the head of the table and we'd all prepare for the day. And every all the news of the family would be interchanged. Yeah. And, and uh, so in between the shots, she Eileen and I. She was very horrible to me that I, day. I <laughs> I might have said something a little off color. And Jerry Douglas leans across the table and he says, Mind your business. Wow. Oh my wow. goodness. <laughs> so, Eileen, you had a nickname on the show that right. John Abbott had given you. Yeah. It was My Beauty. Yes. You. Oh. As far as I can remember, you were crying a lot <laughs> yeah. in your dad's me, arms. But, yeah. You cried. You, you, you both so. of you are very I emotional. You're a messed up kid. Yeah, you know? yeah a little I bit. Say. And it's true. I don't know. Jerry, did you come up with my beauty or was that written by Bill Bell? He did. I did. That thing stuck, that too. No. It's like, yeah. I did. You have to live up to that thing. That all was mine. Oh, my God. That was mine. No wonder you were crying. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're pressed. Not today. Fast. <laughs> she did a scene where she is... Out of memory, she's insane almost, and in silence. Yeah, yeah, and I did it with her, <laughs> and it was one of the best scenes I ever had to do, where I had to try to reach her, and when she came out of it, she's such a brilliant actress, she made me cry. Oh, and it was a beautiful oh, scene. You. Remember that? I do. Yeah. It was one. Well, listen, Wait, I, I don't remember that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but a lot it wasn't of the, a lot of topics that you would address on the the daytime soaps were really true and being living out in America yep. day and day. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's go to Marlon at the far end, of, at the far end of the table. Um, <laughs> Dina, you were the you were the absentee mom in this situation. Oh, for years and years. Year, and years. Yeah. yeah. And every time she came to town, in and Dra out of the round came along and followed Indeed. it. <laughs> to say the very least. <laughs> it's still happening too. <laughs> it's still happening. Your character right now, in the present moment, is struggling with Alzheimer's. Yes, she is. And uh, we'll talk about that, but let's take a look at your character before, oh, and then and now. Good. It's fun, fun, good. good. You were conceived and brought into this world with love. I was brought into this world out of betrayal. Betrayal to John Abbott, to his children, and to your daughter. Do you have any idea what you've taken away from me? But it doesn't have to be that way. But that is the way it is. You know, son, I, I'm aware that my memory will come and go, mostly go. And when it does, Jack, when I become terribly difficult for you to handle, I just want you to know that I love you. Now and always, always, and I love you. Oh, my boy. scene and you're even getting teary-eyed oh, oh I, I wish I do want the tear for <laughs> <laughs> absolutely it's such a nomination this yeah. year yes. for yes. Emmy for I, as you should. I tell you I've never I've done everything from Broadway to movies I've been in the business of show for s over 60 years my goodness and this is the most iconic privileged part that I've ever have been graced with the Alzheimer patient is one thing with the family but it's the caregivers yeah. right. that are the heroes, the yeah. unsung heroes. Yeah. And uh, that is very daunting to have to play, but it's with such a privilege because people are writing in from all over the world who are the caregivers. Sure. And we give them comfort and love, and yeah, they which have is found so a new home on the It's so because we've all been touched. I don't think there's I one know. person on the set yeah. that's yeah. not been I touched. I don't know by anyone in the world. And the, yeah. their, 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 t their emails and texts just make me weep every time. It is yeah. a, a, a great honor to be able to play this role, well, especially with these very talented. This very talent. Indeed. It's a great honor to have you it, all here, by the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, yeah. let me just give you the last word. You know there's a lot of fans of this show watching right now. Yeah. What do you want to say to them? I say thank you for being part of the Abbots all these years, that we loved every moment that we shared with you, and hope that it was uplifting for you above all. Oh, it certainly was. Thank you so much, Jerry.
Okay. Wow. You need to come back as a ghost again. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> just put it out there. I really like it. This you is news, and it's no surprise. So uh, Young and the Restless has been nominated for 25 dates oh. and Emmy Awards this year. This year alone, 45th anniversary celebration continues all week long. Soak it all up, you guys. And Can we be part of the Abbott family, yeah. too? Yes. Coming over. Coming in. Good. Yeah. <laughs>